saddle up, game of marines. This is your commanding officer, Matty Mack, bringing you a review of Battle Los Angeles, based on the movie of the same name. <coughs> Sorry, I had something in my throat. In honor of this game's supreme quality and artistic ambitions, I will henceforth refer to it as Blah, both for ease of use and my own personal amusement. The first thing you need to know about Blah is that it's roughly 45 minutes long. No, not by level, not by cutscene, total. 45 minutes long, total. And coming in at a price of $10 to download from the Xbox Live Arcade or PSN, that equals out to about 22 cents a minute to play. Therefore, keeping in mind the 22 cents a minute price, I decided this review would only be as long as my lunch money could afford. And let me tell you, that's not very much. So strap in and hold on to your butts. Because here we go. Blah is a mediocre first person shooter aiming to model itself after recent FPS hits like Call of Duty Black Ops and Halo Reach. Where it fails to elevate to the quality of the aforementioned games is in the sluggish controls. Your character moves at a snail's pace, almost begging to be eaten by the attacking alien potato monsters. <laughs> Furthermore, the controls limit your character to a single action at a time. Unlike Black Ops, where you can run, jump, fire, and teabag within seconds of each other, Blah only allows one action at a time. You're either shooting, running, cursing your own existence, or jumping, and don't you dare attempt to combine any of the above. <laughs> Furthermore, the level design of Blah becomes incredibly repetitive, which is surprising given that Blah is over before you're even finished listening to your entire Justin Bieber CD. Each time you take control, the action plays out exactly the same. Shoot, shoot some more, duck, duck, shoot, duck, duck, goose. The enemies begin to blend together, and for a movie that takes place entirely in Los Angeles, the landscape is surprisingly devoid of famous recognizable LA landmarks, like the Santa Monica Pier and homeless people. The graphics at first glance pass just fine, but the longer you stare at them, the less impressive they become. In high action moments, the frame rate gets choppy and the entire experience lacks a certain polish that you should expect and demand after spending 10 of you or your parents or your sugar daddy's hard-earned dollars. The sound is reminiscent of the neighborhood feral cat that screams in the alleyway out back all night. It's loud, it's obnoxious, and you don't want to hear it. With laughable voice acting that sounds nothing like the real-life actor counterparts, Calling a strike on this thing. the dialogue often sounds like it was recorded off a laptop computer in a public bathroom somewhere. You'd probably get higher production value by hiring a student film crew from the local community college. The lone positive of a blah is the cool unlockables, which show up some neat behind-the-scenes making up footage from the movie. However, just when it starts to get really interesting, you realize you've reached the end and there's nothing more. Just like the rest of blah, just like this review. I'm almost out of lunch money now, so I give Battle Los Angeles 1.5 alien potato heads out of 5.